हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम इन योर फिजिक्स क्लास फॉर कंप्लीट कोर्स प्रेस सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड बेल आइकॉन एंड वॉच अवर वीडियोस रेगुलरली इन 1879 जोसेफ स्टीफन प्रपोज्ड एन एम्पिरिकल रिलेशन बिटवीन द रेडियन पावर आर फ्रॉम यूनिट एरिया ऑफ अ परफेक्ट ब्लैक बॉडी एंड इट्स एब्सोल्यूट टेम्परेचर टी बेस्ड ऑन एक्सपेरिमेंटल ऑब्जर्वेशंस फ्रेंड्स द वर्ड इम्पेरिकल यूज हेयर मीन्स द फॉर्मूला इज डिराइव्ड एक्सपेरिमेंटली एंड डू नॉट हैव एनी थेरोटिकल बैकग्राउंड फाइव इयर्स लेटर अनादर साइंटिस्ट बोल्समैन डिराइव द सेम रिलेशन यूजिंग थर्मोडाइनमिक्स एंड now it is known as stefan boltzmann law according to the law the rate of emission of radiant energy per unit area or power radiated per unit area of perfect black body is directly proportional to fourth power of its absolute temperature now this relation can be transformed in the form of equation as r equals sigma t to the power 4 mathematically sigma is a proportionality constant but here it has special significance it is known as stefan's constant and is equals 5.67 into 10 raised to minus 8 in si unit and has dimensions equal to l0 m1 t minus 3 k minus 4 this is the power radiated by a perfect black body depends only on its temperature and not on any other characteristics such as color materials nature of surface etc so friends one thing is very clear now the emissive power of a perfect black body solely depends on its absolute temperature for ordinary body emissivity is less than 1 hence radiant power per unit area of a ordinary body is r equals e times sigma t to the power 4 remember this e is a extra factor here that is not seen in previous case friends we have seen in previous video that for perfectly black body emissivity is always equal to 1 but for ordinary body it is always less than 1 so in previous case it was 1 therefore it was not seen in the equation but now it is visible because it has some value less than 1 comparing these two equation it is clear that radiant power per unit area of ordinary body is less than that of perfectly black body if the perfect black body of absolute temperature t is kept in the surrounding of lower temperature t not then according to the law energy radiated per unit area per unit time equals sigma times t to the power 4 okay now surrounding is at lower temperature therefore energy radiated would be less than perfect black body and whatever energy radiated by the surrounding will be absorbed by the perfect black body so energy absorbed from surroundings per unit area per unit time equals sigma times t not to the power 4 as this energy absorbed by the black body is less than the energy it has emitted hence net loss of energy by perfect black body per unit area per unit time is sigma times t to the power 4 minus sigma times t not to the power 4 taking sigma common we get sigma times t to the power 4 minus t not to the power 4 for an ordinary body net loss of energy per unit area per unit time equals e times sigma t to the power 4 minus t not to the power 4 here you can see the extra factor e since it is for ordinary body on the other hand if the body is at a temperature lower than the surrounding then 
things will be reversed. This will be the net gain in thermal energy of the body per unit area per unit time. Since the loss or gain of energy per unit area per unit time is proportional to fourth power of absolute temperature, this law plays an important role in deciding thermal equilibrium of physical systems. Let us consider this example. If the temperature of the body is double, then the power radiated will increase by the factor of 16. Let us dig deep by considering few examples. Calculate the energy radiated in one minute by a black body of surface area 200 square centimeter at 127 degrees Celsius. A Stephen constant is given. Let us write the given data first. Here, time is given 1 minute, that is 60 second, area 200 square centimeter. Let us convert this into a square meter. Temperature is given 127 degree Celsius that we have to convert in Kelvin and the Stephen constant is given. Applying Stephen Boltzmann law, modifying this to calculate energy radiated. Now substituting values from the given data and solving this we get 1751.04 Joule is the answer. A 60 watt filament lamp loses all its energy by radiation from its surface. The emissivity of the body is 0.5. The area of the surface is 5 into 10 raised to minus 5 square meter. Find the temperature of filament. A Stephen constant is given. So extracting given data from the problem, emissivity is given as 0.5. Area is given 5 into 10 raised to minus 5 square meter and power is given 60 watt. Now using Stephen's Boltzmann law, substituting values and on solving we get 2550 Kelvin as answer. Compare the rate of loss of heat from a metal sphere at 827 degrees Celsius with the rate of loss of heat from the same sphere at 427 degrees Celsius if temperature of surrounding is 27 degrees Celsius. Note down the given data. Your first temperature T1 is given as 827 degrees Celsius which is 1100 Kelvin and second temperature is given 427 degrees Celsius that is 700 Kelvin and Surroundings temperature is given 27 degrees Celsius, that means 300 Kelvin. Now, analyze the problem carefully. Here, two rates are to be compared. So, by Stephen Boltzmann law, R1 and R2 we can write as shown on screen. Now, comparing these two equations to obtain desired result. Now, substituting values, simplifying this, we get the answer as 182 is to 29. Using this question, we will see the another application of Kirchhoff law that is to determine size of the star. Assuming that temperature at the surface of sun is 6000 Kelvin, find out the size of virtual star that is in terms of size of the sun whose surface temperature is 3000 Kelvin and the power radiated by virtual star is 25 times the power radiated by the sun. Treat both sun and virtual star as black body. Okay. Let us sort out the given data first. Temperature of the sun is given as 6000 Kelvin. Temperature of the star 3000 Kelvin. Power radiated by the star is 25 times power radiated by the sun. Clear? Now according to Stephen Boltzmann law, the power radiated by the sun is dq by dt equals sigma times area into t to the power 4. Assuming both sun and star as perfect sphere, therefore its area, surface area must be 4 pi r square. Similarly for the star we have, now comparing these two equations we may get cancelling like terms and writing the remaining we get substituting values and simplifying we may have Radius of star equals 20 times radius of this sun.
दोस्तों उम्मीद करते हैं आज का विषय आपको समझ में आ गया आपके विचार आप कमेंट बॉक्स में डाल सकते हैं दोस्तों अगर इस चैनल पर आप पूरा कोर्स फ्री में पाना चाहते हैं तो बस सब्सक्राइब का बटन दबाकर नोटिफिकेशन का बेल आइकॉन जरूर दबाए और यदि आपको वीडियो दिल से पसंद आया तो सोशल मीडिया पे अपने दोस्तों के साथ इस वीडियो को ज्यादा से ज्यादा शेयर करना ना भूले चलिए दोस्तों फिर मिलेंगे नए वीडियो में बाय बाय